Hi there, sustainability professionals. This is Julia Erlob with Tyga Company. Today we're going to talk about different ways to squeeze social media into your work life. Now, when we talk about squeezing social media into our work life, what we're really talking about is two things. It's the actual going to the platforms and producing content and or sharing content, but it's also where do we get the ideas for inspiration on what type of information to share in the first place? Well, it all starts in the beginning, in the very part of the morning, when you get up, maybe have that fresh cup of coffee and you sit down, like reading a newspaper, maybe jumping on Twitter or Facebook is the first opportunity that you have to not only read other people's content, but also get inspiration as to what type of information and content would you like to share that day? So perhaps reading other people's Twitter streams, going to the Facebook page, or even reviewing your, your Google reader, your news reader that you have that uh, imp imports the different RSS feeds and blogs from other content. That's a great way to start the day, maybe get an idea about this is the type of content for the day, this is the information that I want to share, and then you can go ahead and schedule that on the different platforms that you'd like to, for that information to be distributed. Then another way to include social media throughout your day is by taking a break. You know, it's kind of fun. Um, oftentimes I think we reach for food or water or we go to the bathroom or we just pick up the phone and chit chat with a friend for a quick break. But perhaps jumping off social media might be an opportunity for you to create a new positive habit and also introduce social media into the day. So that might look like jumping again on LinkedIn, uh, maybe checking out some of the groups that you're part of, engaging in some of those discussions looking at the content that's been distributed by others that you follow and seeing if it's merit of a blog post on your behalf or sharing that again on some of your platforms and then jumping off and running off to your meeting and so forth and that concludes your, your check-in for midday. Then again, perhaps after lunch, you can do the same thing. And then in the evenings, it's really nice to reflect upon what content actually did get circulated on your behalf. So was there content that you shared that circulated really well? If so, why was that? Was it the time of day? Was it the type of content? Was it unique to a certain holiday or event? Uh, the questions that you're asking would be of, of interest because how could you use that information to leverage your content similarly? So if you wanted to share your content, a blog post or a website or something that you have coming up, whether it be an event, a white paper announcement, how could you use the information about the time of day, how it got circulating, what worked, to promote your work as well. So at the end of the day, taking a time to set aside to not only reflect on what worked and what didn't work, but also plan for the next day can give you some inspiration as to, hey, I did really well on this and uh, this is food for thought going forward or this didn't work, so maybe I can try a different approach. But also I read something about this and that's really good ideas for a future blog post. So there's a lot of opportunities throughout our day as well as uh, inspiration throughout the day that can provide social media information, sharing, and uh, time to be effective.